Hey, what's up guys? This is Doug with Outlaw Off-Road. You know, we get questions every day uh, on topics ranging from sway bars to long arms and everything in between. And obviously we, we've got answers to those questions. We answer them all the time, but we wanted to make a video series for you guys to get into those questions, answer those questions for you, give you the right information, help you cut through all the stuff that you may have seen, some of the bad information out there. So that's what we're gonna do right here, right now. So let's get after it. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Get After It and episode eight. We gotta talk about something serious today. You know, we've covered a lot of stuff in the first seven episodes of Let's Get After It. And, you know, we wanna help, we wanna give right information. We wanna help kind of, kind of get after some of the disinformation that's out there. We wanna put it out in a format that's easy for you guys to understand. But, you know, today I kinda wanna take a break from that. Um, you know, I wanna get super serious about this. and it's the monkey in the room, the elephant in the room, whatever you want to call it, but it needs to be addressed. And that's right. I'm talking about steering stabilizers. Man, this is like the number one thing on these Facebook groups, man. And, and Instagram, you see all these single stabilizer, dual steering stabilizer. I got death wobble. I put a steering stabilizer on it. Okay, this is that video. Link to this. Anytime you see a question, in a Facebook group, on Instagram. We're here for you. I'm here for you. Let's talk about it. Steering stabilizers do not fix anything. They don't fix death wobble. They don't fix bad steering. They don't fix an incomplete steering system. They don't fix a system that should have been upgraded six months ago and wasn't. They don't do much of anything. Technically, a steering stabilizer is referred to technically as a vibration dampener. As a vibration dampener, they serve a purpose uh, and they do a job. You're going down the road, you got some vibrations, they dampen steering. Uh, and that helps with some deflection of the metal in the steering parts and all that. It's not a bad thing to have. However, when you see, and I've seen this thousands and thousands of times, I'm, you know, everybody, oh, I put a dual steering stabilizer on my F250. I put a dual steering stabilizer on my Wrangler as if that's a good thing and an upgrade. Um, mark it down. I'm telling you today, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. We don't want to do that. Um, it's a Band-Aid. It's a cover-up. And we need to look at the reasons why you think you need that. Um, death wobble is a number one thing. People think, oh, I'm in, I'm, I got death wobble for a steering stabilizer on it. And it fixed it. Oh, it fixed it. Steering stabilizer fixed my death wobble. Um, all you really did was put a new stabilizer dampener on there. So you've dampened the vibrations and you've made a temporary fix to a permanent problem. Nice, shiny new dampener. It's stiff, it's doing its job. It, it does have the potential to hide some stuff temporarily, but as soon as that thing wears out, and it will, and it's gonna do so quickly because it's under that much stress, trying to hide the death wobble you're trying to cover up, it's gonna fail again and you're gonna have an issue. Maybe that's a month down the road, maybe that's six months down the road. It, it depends on what components are bad, but there's bad components and you need to address those components. Is it a ball joint? Is it a track bar? Is it a, whatever? There's there's five, six, seven, eight, nine different things it could be, but let's not st let's not stand by and allow dual steering stabilizers to be a thing anymore. Stabilizers can be important. There's upgrades out there. There's better ones. There's adjustable ones. There's all that, and, and they can serve a purpose certainly. And and I've certainly run all kinds of stabilizers. One time back in like 2007, I may have had a dual steering stabilizer just because it looked cool. Okay, fine, it looked cool. You got me. Guilty but it didn't serve a purpose. I did it for looks and it didn't stay on there long, I promise. And I don't think there's any pictures to prove I even did it. Um, maybe we need to delete this video. All jokes aside, they're not needed guys. We just we just don't need them. Um, matter of fact, and this may get some, you know, this may, this may start some conversation. If you build your steering system properly, whether it's low steer, high steer, aluminum, whatever. If you build that system properly for your specific setup, you don't need one. You don't need a steering stabilizer. Um, I've run rigs without it. Um, I've wheeled on trails, 
that you would think, oh, I gotta have that. You know, I've done you know Pritchett Canyon with no with no stabilizer all all over the place. You don't need it. You don't need it. Um, you can do it without it. Now, does it help? Sure. It helps steering feel. It helps you know dampen the vibration on the road. Absolutely, it can help. But uh, we definitely don't need we definitely don't need dual steering stabilizers. They're just taking up room anyway, um, and wasting your money. And that's one thing here. We don't want to waste your money. Uh, we want you to buy stuff. You know, buy once, cry once, right? We want you to buy this stuff that you need. Hopefully, you do it one time. You get quality parts from a quality company, and in your set. You know, other than maintaining and then you know replacing if something breaks or whatever, fine. But you know, we don't want to just go out there and arbitrarily spend money that that you don't either need to spend or maybe you don't have. Um, so we want to make sure you get that right information. So um, single stabilizer, that can be good. Dual steering stabilizer, always bad. And always bad. We're putting that on film today. So link to this, show your friends, show your family, show everybody. Like it, this does not need to be a thing anymore. But um, what stabilizer you put on there, totally up to you. You want to put a cool Fox, you know, steering stabilizer pass through on there, whatever. It's, you know, adjustable. Okay, cool. Let's just don't do two of them.